Hey guys, what's up? Time for another fragrance review to keep my channel active. And I actually got asked to make a fragrance review again. So I'm going to do the recently released this year Dolce & Gabbana EDP version. It was pretty anticipated. You know, it's, uh, the EDT was a well-liked fragrance in the fragrance community. And people were hoping for something that would be a little bit stronger. So I'm going to give my little review commentary on if I think that succeeded. Um, basically, um, actually the story, Dolce & Gabbana, the one is actually the fragrance that kind of got me into fragrances, actually. Um, the story about that is, uh, back in the modeling days, and even now sometimes, you know what I mean, uh, sometimes girls tell me, uh, they would be like, hey, Clayton, you know, sometimes it's kind of scary talking to you, you can be kind of intimidating, you know, like, I'd say, like, I stand out or I look too important or something like that, and they said they would get nervous when they would talk to me. So... In my infinite wisdom, I was like, uh, well, that's not good, right? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> so I was like, uh, hey, girls like smelly things, right? Maybe I'll get into fragrances and we'll see how that goes. You know what I mean? So, And eventually I smelled Dolce & Gabbana the one. And I was like, wow, actually, um, I like this. You know what I mean? And so that kind of stopped my, that started my sort of pauper sort of uh, collecting phase. You know what I mean? So I was like, wow, fragrances actually can smell pretty good. Like even I like them, you know? I had uh, worn fragrances, of course, before then, but I'd never really given it uh, much thought. So anyway, uh, don't check about the one EDT compared to the EDP. First of all, let me get to the notes here. La, 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 da, 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 da. So yeah, the top notes are grapefruit, coriander, basil, middle notes, cardamom, ginger, and orange blossom, and the base notes are tobacco, amber, and cedar. Now, a little note about the note breakdown. Throughout the years, it has actually... Sometimes it's actually changed a little bit. I don't know if there's some kind of like fuck up on the website or something, but I've actually seen bergamot even listed in the top notes randomly when it first came out. And sometimes instead of amber, it's actually said ambergris in, on some sites. So I don't know if that's just like a screw up or not. I'm not sure. But I will say, though, I believe the EDT has been reformulated at least twice. And I know for sure at least once, right? Because in 2013, I think it was, actually the bottles do have different uh, ingredient listed on them. So I know for sure then. Um, so the reformulation wise, a little like commentary on that, I should say. Um, I think uh, sometime maybe a year or two after it was originally released, it just basically got watered down and it just became weaker as a lot of reformulations do. And then the 2013 version has a sort of a, it's much more like harsher uh, at the top. It's, you know, it gets in your throat a little bit. It's a little bit harsher and uh, strong at the top but uh, besides that uh, the smell itself you know the, the fragrance has probably been reviewed to death it's a uh, I think it's a, a great smelling fragrance you know it's one of my top 10 probably complimented fragrances of all time you know it's a little bit fresh a little bit spicy but not spicy enough to be you know uh, offensive to anyone or shouldn't be you know it's sweet it's kind of fruity punchy you know herbal you know it's just a great mix of smells and I, I think it smells amazing about the only thing I could complain about it is uh, sometimes it gives me a little bit of a plastic smell but uh, yeah you know it's great sometimes I even think it smells delicious I just sometimes it's one of my favorite fragrances you know sometimes it might even be my favorite fragrance ever like when it's when it's a day that it's working good it could be but yeah I love it I think it's a great smelling fragrance obviously the knock on it is that the performance can be kind of spotty for some people and I will admit even on me myself um it's generally kind of just a skin scent, but I get pretty good longevity out of it. And I can't complain because, you know, people in the fragrance community, you guys are buying, uh, and even I have, you know, bought Creed fragrances that are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And a lot of those are just skin scents. So it's kind of like, come on, guys, you know what I mean? You can't, you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for one thing, but this is cheaper and you complain. Anyway, so compared to the EDT, compared to the EDP, the EDT is definitely more citrus and a little bit sharper. The EDP is, uh, especially the opening. The openings of these two are where they, you can tell the most difference. Like the EDP has is much more creamier. It's thicker, it's denser, it's richer. And the cardamom in this is a lot more apparent, especially at the top. And uh, the grapefruit lasts uh, throughout the fragrance a little bit longer. So in general, yeah, I mean, the EDP is, uh, you know, Thicker, richer, denser, grapefruit lasts longer, much stronger like cardamom. Um, yeah, it's yeah, basically, right? I will say myself, actually, I think the EDT smells just a little bit better, though. I think the citrus with it, um, 
and the little bit of sharpness, I think the mix of that with the citrus just makes it a little bit more pleasing. And when I have worn this and I've tried it on each arm and had people smell it, it's just come out, you know, I've just gotten the EDP recently, so I haven't thoroughly tested it. But when I have asked, they have actually liked the EDT a little bit more. And they've even been like, hey, these kind of smell similar. They smell very similar. So, you know, they are very similar smelling. But uh, a little bit, they are a little bit different. Uh, and I think, again, like I said, more noticeable at the top. Um, if you're for performance, though, the EDP definitely, I will say it is a, uh, it's definitely stronger. But when we're talking stronger, we're talking like inches stronger. It's still pretty much close quarters, you know what I mean? If someone's around you, you know what I mean? There's not a big scent trail, but you know what I mean? Uh, the first few hours, you know what I mean? But even the same with the EDT, though. You know, the first few hours, I can get good compliments on them because that's one of my best compliment gets ever. Best compliment getters ever. And the EDP, you know what I mean? It's a, it is stronger for sure. And longevity-wise, definitely, compared to the recent EDT stuff that is out, this stuff is way stronger longevity-wise. Like, I still get good whiffs of this 12 hours later. So definitely stronger. If I were to say which one to get, it, personally, I would say if you could somehow find the original formulation of the EDT, I still have like a little baby travel atomizer from, you know, back years and years ago. And that thing will last me 12 hours for sure. You know what I mean? That's That thing definitely performs pretty well. Not projection-wise, but longevity-wise, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. So anyway, yeah, that's basically my review. Um, I will say the EDT, EDP is already going for hella cheap. You can get it on fragrance, and that's super cheap, dude. So, I mean, if you like the smell, you know, it is redundant, but if you don't have any of them, I guess, you know, why not just get the EDP? It's basically the same thing. Um, like I said, compliment-wise, uh, it's just come out recently, you know what I mean? So it's hard to say, but I would assume as it goes on, uh, the EDP will probably be one of my best complimented fragrances, I would assume as well. You know, it's hard to tell when something has just come out so soon. But, um, yeah, so like I said, uh, I think it's worth checking out, you know what I mean? Especially if you like the smell. Again, though, for me, the EDT, as it is, I think it smells just a little bit better. But it's still, the smell itself is just the basic DNA of it, I think is fucking amazing. Um, so, yeah, uh, EDT, a little bit some more citrus, more sharper. EDP, more caramel, the grapefruit lasts longer, it's richer, thicker, denser, and it's a much more of a creamier kind of smell. Um, and it lasts longer though, for sure. So performance-wise, I think it has fixed, uh, I would assume for most people it would fix that issue. So anyway, that's my review. I made a clone review. I know people were asking me to do one again, the whole few people that actually watch my channel for fragrance reviews, right? So um, thanks for watching. Yeah.